new platform. Okay. I want to hear. I want to hear Yak's version of what's going to take Twitch down. I think that's a great thing that a lot of people would probably want to know about. And in order to see, I see, I see the future of streaming going. I need to start from the beginning. Okay. Back in the Stone Ages. Go ahead. <laughs> Back when we used to ride dinosaurs and live stream it. Got it. The very near past. <laughs> so what that is is Mixer. Mixer had this great idea. Let's make a live streaming service. The only one on the market is YouTube and uh, Twitch. But people they didn't realize. Okay, what what was the incentive to moving to Mixer? Aside from the competition being less scarce, you know, well, the incentive was jack shit. There was nothing. Well, than a sleeker I, I, yeah, like, that's what I was saying. Like, when that, when I knew Mixer was a thing, like, now that I'm into streaming after, like, the last two months, I kind of got into, like, that whole background. But, like, Thinking about like just a company that just had the idea of like, oh, you know, Twitch, like they're the top of the stream platform. Let's try to knock them out of that. Like, I I don't see how that was logical. Like, I don't see how you can do that. Like, just to sit down and like pitch that to a business. Like, oh, you know how like the top streaming platform, Twitch. Yeah, like we're trying to like be better than them. Like, what are you gonna bring to the table? Nothing. We're gonna be exactly the same, and we're gonna hope it works. <laughs> well, I think, I think they had one thing, and that one thing in the start of it. Was that it was a slate for design, which is still clunky. Yeah, that's fair. Believe it or not, you know, you click on one tab, you get sent to an entirely different URL. I'm just saying, you know, it, it's 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 still a little clunky. I think I've like I've noticed compared to like Facebook gaming and just in like YouTube, like I, I YouTube kind of copies it, but like the whole like like the text box, like how like dialogue happens, like how you respond to people in chat and stuff, is really nice on Twitch, in my opinion. So like that's something it's I like nice about it. Twitch, yeah, it's nice. But Mixer, Mixer had a, a much simpler and much sleeker user interface, and you know, that's just how it was. That's all they had to bring to the table. So once they realized, okay, well, you know, not a lot of people are coming over here, aside from some people that nobody gives a fuck about. Well, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's pull over some some top streamers. Let's pull them over. We'll pay him, we'll give him a contract to come stream on this. That'll bring him. Well, no, it didn't. During one stream, Ninja's heyday on Twitch was I don't know how many viewers. But I remember seeing a live stream on Mixer. He only had 500. It kind of blew up in the face. Yeah. Because like, cause them, them paying all those big people to come over there was a gamble. But like it, it, it was it was it was an investment that they would bring the viewers to to watch the ads, to watch this, that, and the other, to subscribe and give them money, and that wasn't the case. That wasn't, and you know what? It 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 it, it fucked them up. It threw them for a loop. So what they do? Well, their investment wasn't paying off. So they sent a fucking text message to Mixer user saying, "Hey, uh." Join Facebook Gaming or uh, fuck off. <laughs> and then apparently, and apparently, the staff of Mixer found out 15 minutes before the tweet went for Mixer. Yeah, I, I heard something about that. That it just like it's like told people out of nowhere. Like there really was not much of like a a warning. They're just like, yeah, so like uh, go to Facebook Gaming in like a week. Good luck. <laughs> They're just like, uh, okay. And, you know, it's like Twitch tomorrow going like, oh, hey, you know, like, you know, top streamers, guess what? Like, you guys got a week to go to uh, YouTube. Good luck. <laughs> it's going to throw you at YouTube. <laughs> like, here, take these streamers. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Hope, hope everything works out for you. I don't give a fuck. It's closing down. See you later. <laughs> no, I mean, and then you add on to one other thing, right? So, it. Now Facebook Gaming is probably going to crash and burn because I think that they didn't realize that when they bought Mixer from Microsoft, they're like, "We're going to keep all the top streamers. It should be fine. We'll be okay." Yeah. And they did not do that. No. <laughs> I I keep Facebook Gaming like I, hopefully they like I said like hopefully they get better at it. 
now. But like, hopefully, they can kind of like get their head out of their ass and like work on it pretty well. But like when like they just they just kind of cashed in on like the whole live streaming thing. They're just like, oh, this is a thing that people do. Uh, let's put it on Facebook, and they don't they didn't really care to like it, like make it better compared to like anything other platforms. Like I don't think they were trying to compete. I think they were just trying to throw it on there just to have it. So I don't really think they ever got anywhere with it, and I don't think they're ever going to unless they like really really buckle down. I don't see it becoming a platform where live streaming will matter there. I don't. And now we have where we are now. We have three streaming platforms. Okay? Three. One is Facebook gaming. Okay? Which is dog shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two is YouTube, which isn't even a dedicated live streaming service. Yeah, that that like been, whenever I think of YouTube, so that's that's always like just YouTube videos. Like I I can see live streaming there being kind of viable, but it's not really like where I would go for that. Name one time, name one time you've heard somebody say, "Man, I'm going to go watch this guy's YouTube stream." I actually used to watch a few. I used to watch a few. I was really into uh speed running of Resident Evil 2. And so, like, I would watch a lot of people live stream that. And, like, some of the top people that, that, that like, speed run that game were on YouTube. So, like, I used to watch that a lot. But that's, like, the only time that I ever was, like, oh, I'm going to go watch a live stream of somebody. But it was only after discovering them. Because, like, I would type in, like, all the time, like, on YouTube and how the keyword system worked. Like, I would type in, like, Resident Evil 2 speed run. And 90% of the time, at least back, like, a year ago, when Resident Evil 2 was big, they had, um... Like, the top of the search bar was the live streams. So, like, I was like, oh, cool, there's live streams for it. And I watched it, and then here we are. But, like, that's literally the only time I've watched live streams on YouTube. So, you have YouTube, right? Which isn't a dedicated live streaming service, like Twitch. And Twitch is our number three, okay? And Twitch is the the person who's got the, 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 the winning numbers for the lottery right there, okay? They have ingrained themselves. You want to know why Mixer didn't work? They came at Twitch with no incentive. No incentive whatsoever. None, okay? They came out with nothing to offer that Twitch hasn't already offered. Okay? Now, where does that leave us? Well, that leaves streamers with one option indefinitely. And that is Twitch. But I will say this. Where I think it's going to go and what I think the best option for streamers might be is Spotify and Google teaming up. Because you know what? Even though YouTube has a streaming feature, they're not going to make anywhere near as much money as they could if they branched out and made a it made a dedicated streaming platform, teaming up with one with the biggest music provider service. Like I, I I definitely see that as like a way to like take on like Twitch. Like oh, you can do the same thing here, but you can play whatever music you want to because Spotify. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Because like there's so many times that I'd be like oh like let's check out this song and I'm like oh I can't do that. I was like, that that's copyright. So, like, Spotify would own that, and I think that's a brilliant... Because everybody that streams wants to listen to music, and they want, stream, like, music on their stream. Copyright strikes are so more prominent um, than ever. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, YouTube. YouTube's had a big problem with a lot of, like, strikes in general. Like, it's really easy to take yeah. shit down now. And so my point is, is even though they already have a streaming platform service, which isn't a streaming platform service, because it's YouTube, okay? It's not its main mission statement, okay? It's not its main goal. It's not. But to create your own dedicated streaming platform with teaming up with Spotify would work. And it would offer something that Twitch doesn't have, which is music. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's plain and simple. Music is a very key and integral part of a lot of content created ability to set the imagine a movie without music i want you to realize that or without sound or oh, well no no i guess music would be because like he like just actually just like no background music at, or anything at all would be kind of wild even the old time music even the old time movies had music dun, 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 
And it had subtitles. The guy would talk, and it would say what he said. You know? Gee Willikers, moving to Mixer was a mistake. I'm on Facebook Gaming now. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, it's just... It helps a lot of content creators out there. To be able to play ACDC. To be able to play ACDC in general. I'm, I mean, Do you think there's going to be, like, it, if this were to become a thing, which you drastically think it will be, which I think is a, is a great idea. It's going to be the only thing I think that can top Twitch. Just based on, like, pure, like, pristine numbers. As far as, like, Twitch is, like, the name, you know? So, like, I, I think, like, that would probably be the only thing that can happen. So, like, that would make sense. But I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if any, like, big, like, like music producers and stuff will back out if they were to do that. No. You don't think so? Yeah, yeah, I think it would muddle it. I think it would muddle music in general. I feel like it would make it really hard to like get numbers correct on like who listens to how much of what on on your platform. You know. It, I, I, I'll, I'll say this, okay? Because I don't know the science in the deals that they offer music creators on Spotify. In order for them to get the rights to their music to play it, but I will say this: that there are ways around it. Even if that way is content creators having to pay out of pocket, but I think it would. I think it would actually, you know, I think it would go towards that. Because uh, think about it this way: Spotify takes a cut, takes a cut of the live streaming service. That's the reason why Spotify would work. They take a cut of it. Same as Twitch takes a cut of however much money you make, Cat, or money I make. Yeah. You know? Spotify would do the same. And that's how they would re re redistribute. That would be the only way that would make sense, because I don't think you'd be able to measure, like, I guess you can do... I don't know how that would work, but like I guess you can like measure like based on streamer, like how many people watch them consistently, like their average viewership and what music they mostly play. But like even then, like you couldn't pinpoint exactly what artists are like always like owed that money for like a top streamer. So like say like Ninja's there and he's playing ACDC and then he switches between like ACDC and like like a Vince Sevenfold and like flip flops around. Like there's no way you're gonna be able to tell what exactly you know. Like number wise, I guess you could say, like people are watching and listening to that song. That's an incentive, though, for people to jump into Spotify. Yeah, that's true. They can they can sell Spotify like pretty pretty heavy in in the platform itself. That would be a great marketing play for it because like Spotify is already great, but of course they want to grow. And for artists, and for artists to jump in. Yeah, that too. You're like, oh, not only will you you know get a chunk of money. Everybody that streams you, like if anybody likes you, they stream your music, and that just that just you know bumps you up even higher. So, exactly. yeah, I can I can see it incentivizing. I can also see the opposite side though. I can see people that are like, my music's gonna be played for uh, way more people than normal Spotify. So like, I don't know if I'd want to continue using it this platform, like because you know I don't think they'd be able to cut the money correctly. Like I don't feel like they'd be able to understand. If they, if they can integrate it, if they can integrate it into the software. Yeah, I, I guess it would it would take some work. I mean, it's such a it's such a wild thought because it's something so far out. But with Google backing you up, you can do anything. Google is is it, it has more than enough money to create a sleep software and to create what it needs to be created to be. You know, in terms of of stuff like that, and there is an alternate option, and this alternate option is you know a wet dream. For streaming. And what that alternate option is, it has nothing to do with Google, it has nothing to do with Spotify. But what it is, is a streaming platform created by streamers. Yeah, that could be a thing. And what that is, is Ninja, Shroud, Doc, all teaming up on their own stream. I mean, but even then, you're, you're kind of getting, you're like, I don't know how much that would work. Because, like, even them getting pushed to a different top platform didn't work. Like, Mixer still collapsed. It's nothing but a wet dream, man. Nothing but a wet dream. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen. That one ain't gonna happen. But the Spotify and Google thing, I could see that. Google wanted to capitalize. 
on the money. I mean, I can see, I can see someone like Shroud or like Ninja wanting to go make a new platform. I don't know if Ninja themselves, could, like Ninja himself, can do it, but they don't have that. Yeah, they don't have that. That's fair. It cost, it'll probably cost about maybe a billion dollars. They gotta start somewhere. Like, I, I guess, in order to compete at this point, you have to have a high entry level. But like, it. I mean, if you look up, look up how much Microsoft lost on Mixit. It's probably crazy you'll amount. See how much money it actually, you'll see how much it actually costs. To develop streaming here, here I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll Google search it right now. Wait, I, I forgot that we have the power of Google. So yeah. let's go ahead and. How much money did Nixon lose? And then you also got to factor in, not counting their their prized pigs investment. Microsoft closed Mixer if it failed to keep up with the Amazon. No, that's not. That's not I'm looking for. Oh, okay. I, I didn't. I didn't put a question. <laughs> How much money did Microsoft lose on? Did Microsoft? And that should give you an answer as to roughly how much it costs to develop your. Microsoft kills Mixer. Where is the? What's the fact that there's like no answer? I guess I have to go to this website. Okay, it says Mixer accounted for seventy percent of all hours streamed. In the first quarter of 2020, according to Streamlabs, putting in the putting in second place behind Twitch, 72% share. Jeez, YouTube Gaming live ranked with 8% share, and Facebook Gaming with 3%. Those numbers boosted by high-profile streamers like Ninja, Ewok, and Shroud suggested Mixer could gain uh, ground against Twitch. Unfortunately, these broadcasts didn't capture enough viewers. Mixer only captured 2% of hours viewed during the quarter. According to Streamlabs, putting it far behind Twitch at 65 and YouTube at 22 and Facebook Gaming at 11. Mixer's hours viewed rose 14.9% from February to March, which outpaced YouTube and Facebook's growth. But Twitch hours jumped 23%, which likely widened the, the lead against the three underdogs. And then it says... Over this game. I mean, I'm just saying Spotify and Google could easily, and I think they could easily, if 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 they, you know, and people are saying, well, what about YouTube? What about YouTube? I mean, YouTube, I feel like can like the only reason I think YouTube would stay like where they're at and still have live streaming is because of their their videos. Like, I don't, I feel like they can they can branch into like the live streaming without it being too much of a like too big of a loss if they had to like cut live streaming completely it's not going to harm them like you're talking what eight percent of the of the the fucking overall pie that's not i mean it's money but it, if they had to cut it that, that there's no way like that they're they're top dog with any video any video platform so like they're and, i mean the thought process is okay they branch out man they branch out and they create a dedicated platform for that dedicated purpose. YouTube is not a dedicated streaming platform. It's a dedicated video sharing platform. There's a difference. And that's the difference that that can make them money. Is if they branched out and made one dedicated to that purpose with a partner like Spotify. And if they did that, they would be able to take on Twitch and I guarantee they would... And you know what? I think... I may be wrong, but I think that they should value. I think they would value. A lot of streamers would value music. Oh no doubt. Like speaking from my own preference, like I'd love to play music of like the like genre of music and stuff that I like. But I I'm forced to play like non copyrighted like like uh like I don't know if you've heard of Pretzel before, but like that's what I use for streaming. Like uh, it's like it's like kind of like instrumental music. Like you can have actual lyrical music, but I I just play like non copyrighted. It, it it's pretty good for streamers because it's all co non copyrighted music. But like I would love to be able to play like actual music. I think it'd be fucking amazing just to sit down and like play music I like. Like I can I can make a whole stream out of that. Like just playing music that I like and sitting there and talking to fans and like I feel like that would be amazing. That'd be amazing. Because awesome. like one of the greatest yeah. feelings like is when you like have like a good friend you know and you're, you're good friends for a while and you sit down and you're like let's listen to listen to music together and you tell them all the meanings and like I feel like that'd be that'd be amazing like just to sit down with people watching me and we're talking about music in general like concepts and and you know music and I'm I'm musically inclined so like that even that even helps me better but I think that would be brilliant yeah. and you know it 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 makes 
makes sense. It makes sense. It does. It does, and I, I'd like to see, I like to see something kind of co compete with Twitch. Like I think Twitch. You know, I think they're like the top of the dog, obviously, and I think they will be for a while. But it, and and you know, it it might be unfortunate to some people, but it, unfortunately, there's going to be somebody. There's going to be somebody that does something better at some point. I just think mix, Mixer's like outline was just not right. Like you just don't go into it trying to take the top dog out. That's just not, and without without offering anything. Music is is the is the incentive. Music. Yeah, I can see that. And then, and like you said earlier, like Google being able to make a like interface and like having it clean and having everything like work function correctly because it's Google. So like that that can be yeah that can that can be disastrous for Twitch and no no doubt. And there is potential to make more more money on YouTube than there is on Twitch. Just like it's monetization. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's just. Uh, if they incorporated it, it's just all about catching lightning in the bottle. And right now, I feel it's the perfect opportunity. Mix is gone. Facebook gaming sucks. You have Twitch. Now it's time for another person to step up. And what that is is plain and simply Google and Spotify, or another or another company as big as not Microsoft. Microsoft already showed. Yeah, they're not going to get back into that game. There's no way that they're going to be able to pitch something like, "Oh, let's do this," and they're not going to. No one's going to bite on that. Because they're like, you already had your chance. Mm. Here's a fun fact. The person, who, go ahead and Google this up because I want to name them by name. The person who founded Twitch sold Twitch to Amazon. Yeah. In 2014, I believe. And if you look up how much, uh, how much money he has invested in a particular company, you'll be surprised. Who founded Twitch? Look that up. Okay. There you go. Justin Can. K A N. Or it might be Khan. Okay, now look up Justin Can. Okay. Spotify. I dare you. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look. Where? Justin Can, founder of Twitch, investing in the future. Podcast. And then, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Investing into the future of. Um, after exiting Twitch to, or yeah, exiting Twitch to Amazon for one billion, damn. Justin Can set out on a mission to redefine B two B legal services, but on the way realized that something wasn't right. Despite his highlight reel, he felt that sometime something was missing, and that something was a source of meaning and fulfillment that no business's success can sustainably achieve. Although today's episode covers Justin's business lessons learned as a, as a uh, serial entrepreneur, M and A vital market versus execution <laughs> execution risk. Our conversation centers around the structural practices Justin em, uh, embeds into building a conscious work culture. Feeling where where is it? It doesn't say anything about what he's invested. That says absolutely nothing. Anyways. It's to my understanding that he's invested in Spotify. It looks like he is. So, you know, and here's the thing, okay? Twitch, Twitch is on very thin ice. I think the skirt is... Well, but I, 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 I think they definitely have some heat under their ass right now, but... There's no doubt that just like they they probably feel comfortable based on just how big they are, you know. Well, they're comfortable enough to to wave the band ha the band hammer, and you know, quite frankly, I think Twitch is a greedy company, and they only started paying people once they had to start paying. People. You know what? It's not what it used to be. Same as YouTube. YouTube isn't. Yeah, no. I feel like I mean they both you know had their heyday. YouTube was. What? Do you know what the Do you know what the first video on YouTube was? Uh, it wasn't it the the creator at like the zoo. It was a day at the zoo. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about elephants. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't even remember my first encounter with YouTube, man. It's so long ago. You know, 
I'll save it. The only people that can beat Twitch is going to have to be music and service and a big. I think Google and Spotify should team up, branch out, create their own dedication. Well, it, it's one of two things. Either that that's what you know ends up inevitably taking down a platform like, like Twitch or or it can be they can just put their own foot in their mouth and eventually just you know self-destruct in their own way. Well, either way, I think that will end this episode of talking with Yak, and uh, I think we can we can have many more of these. I like this idea, so yeah. so go ahead and uh, you know go leave a like, comment, all that kind of fun stuff, and uh, go to go to go to Yakel's channel, uh, Cap and Yak. It, it's a it's it's a partner with me and him, and then I have this channel by myself. But uh, this is uh, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> You better fucking like this video. But uh, I'll see you around. Go ahead, go ahead and say your goodbyes. Uh, never fab drive. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you around. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Tarantulas. <laughs>